Well, guys, this is the last field we have to harvest for this fall. And you guys are probably wondering, well, Squaw, man, what's, what's next? What you up to next, man? Well, what we're doing, don't get too excited. But there's going to be a tournament. There's going to be a farming tournament. I've promised it. But once some uh, summer for me is here for some of you guys that are maybe playing in the tournament, summer's not here yet. So we got to kind of wait a week or two to officially start the tournament so we can play during the day. Um, so what I plan on doing, I'm going to I'm going to unload this corn. We're going to harvest these beans. And I'll talk about the tournament a little bit. But every past tournament I've done has just been like it's just it hasn't been the way I want it to be. I always like picture this tournament and I picture like the the management and the economy and money flowing well between players actually good and us keeping a track of every statistic, how much money people have, how much money they have in equipment, running a really good auction and it just doesn't go that way. So this t next tournament has to have a lot of thought going into the tournament and how it's going to be ran. Um, like if somebody's cutting across a field and there's a rule, no cutting across fields, I'm cracking that whip and you're gone. Like that's how it's going to be. And I'm going to be so gosh, dang selective of who comes into this tournament. Like you got to be like the perfect candidate is what it's going to be. I'm going to try to like, I'm cracking the whip on people. It's like Spencer TV takes an inch into my soybean field. He's gone. You know, that, that's, that's how it's going to be. So, um, it's uh i want to be i want to just have it a really good farming tournament and change the way farming similar can be played you know with multiplayer if we have tournaments and like and we actually run them good it could be really fun you know so that's what i want to do with that but for today we and also if you have any good ideas since there's like you know usually 30 40 50 60 sometimes 70 000 people that watch these videos um feel free to like throw your uh throw a suggestion for the tournament down below especially if you've seen the other farm tournaments i've put on throw a suggestion down below i mean it doesn't hurt anybody and i always like looking through them and uh with that many ideas that come come about we can we can have some good ideas to make for a good tournament so feel free to throw your comment down below okay so here we have the case 8240 now i like this combine better than the deer I hate to say it because a lot of like like I'm a big deer guy, but I like this case combine better than the deer. And so for the last soybean field, I'm going to use the case combine, the 8240, something about this. I like this combine. So I'm going to drop the header here. There we go. And then I am going to be pulling out the draper here. We're going to connect to the draper, not the deer draper, but the case draper. And uh, we'll pull it out and then harvest this last field of beans. And then I'll probably take a load of grain down to the elevator. I got to kind of move this semi, get it all situated because uh, right now we have the 9520RT, which has been a good tractor. We have it sitting out front. Yeah, so this load of corn, I'll take down to the elevator. Um, let's get this semi fully loaded and ready to rock and roll. So after we get done harvesting this field, we can take her down to the elevator. Now, right now, the Kenworth's barely pulling through here. Kind of stuck here. There we go. We'll pull through here and then unload corn into it. The front front section, I don't know if that's what you call it. Front section is full. I'm going to get the back section of this semi. Now, if you guys saw my video yesterday, it was a, uh, there we go. Corn. Oh, we actually have a lot of corn in here. But if you guys saw my video yesterday, it was a reveal of my new to me uh, F-250 power stroke. That's full. Perfect. And we got it stuck. I wasn't planning to go off run, but we got it stuck. And so... Uh, the tires are just shot on it. After 30k miles, tires are shot. They look real good on it, but they're just shot. And so I've been on this like mission to find good solid tires. And once you get me into something, I just get crazy. I, I just I, I'm just on it for a day, and I want to find make the best decision to get the best tires on my truck. It's the weirdest thing ever. And so I've been just like researching them like crazy. And everybody's gonna be like, dude, you should get a mud tire. You should get one that you know tears up the mud. I gotta, I, I gotta figure out a good tire. I'm thinking about the Michelin LTX AT2s. You guys probably don't know too much. Some of you guys do, but it's more of like a highway tire. I want like a good mud tire, but there's, there's honestly no reason. I'm not gonna go like mud in. I barely drive on gravel roads. So, um, okay, Case 8240, pull her up here. But if you got any suggestion, and seriously, like if you drive a diesel, or your dad has a diesel, or you drive an F-150, just like throw a comment down. Giving me some advice on tires, if you guys want. Feel free to. 
Okay. The 8240. I probably should have hooked up the header. And there's really no good spot to hook up the header. I think what I'll do is I'll pull around, uh, kind of around these cedars. Hook up the header here. So we've gone two seasons on, on this farm. On Westview, Wisconsin. Which have been fun. I said I was going to do custom harvesting. But we may not get to custom harvesting. Who knows? This could, maybe this isn't the last episode too. I, I wonder how many episodes it's been. So I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit because it's a little quiet on my end. I always like hearing that Ace Kalman rev up a little bit. Now this field shouldn't take too long either. It should be fairly quick and we can get trucking. Now, honestly, the rest of these beans I'll probably just pour into that grain cart there. But we're good. Back up the A240 over here and then we can get started on this field. Now let me make sure I got everything. I'm pretty sure... I got everything done. Why is our combine still moving? <laughs> Look at it. I think we're done. Oh, shoot. There we go. Go forward. I'm going to turn her on. We'll get combine this. So far, like my crops, my crops didn't really yield the best too. Uh, we didn't plow it up, which we should have plowed it up. We didn't add fertilizer. We didn't spray it. All we did is spread lime. And that's, that's all my fault. I honestly didn't farm these fields good at all. It was a... Uh, was horrible it's still a fun farming experience but man you gotta put a lot of time into your crops okay so i'm actually running a hired hand on this field he kind of took a different path but it's fine he'll eventually turn around so that i can kind of get the farm organized and i can also get in the grain cart and run the grain cart just right along him and it'll just be a lot more efficient as long as he he does good and the hired hands do fairly good so that should that should actually work out good so I'm gonna grab the grain cart. Uh, it's got a ways yet. It was only a uh, it was only a quarter full, so it'll be a while before that grain tank uh, fills up. But we got to get equipment cleaned off. We gotta get the combines put away specifically. Probably could you know I probably should just jump in the semi and run and truck this grain before that combine fills up is what I really should do. But we'll save that for the end. But for now, I'm gonna get the combine all cleaned up, put away the 9770. We do have two combines, and I probably should be selling one, but for now, we're going to keep two combines on the farm. I'm going to pull here. As far as equipment to trade off and keep, 8130, man, that's the last thing I'll ever trade off or sell. I, I love that tractor. I honestly do. It's probably one of my favorite tractors on here. Also, the cows. You guys are probably wondering, like, dude, squad, your cows, man, they're horrible right now. They're probably dead. I know it's bad. I haven't been taking care of them. I realize you have to put a ton of work into cows, actually. Into any livestock. And we just didn't get that done. Okay, 9770s. Clean. He's ready to rock and roll. I'm going to open up these doors. We're going to pull in the 9770. You like these tires? <laughs> I, I know my tires, like, really well now after doing tons of research. It's kind of nice, I guess. You just do go for a couple hours of really hard research and you understand the market fairly well. These are BF Goodrich KO2 tires. I'm pretty sure that's on this truck. It's a little different, but based on the pattern, I think I can tell those are the tires. Um, okay, we need to open up this other door. These doors have always been really weird. Yep, so, so now open that door, perfect. Those doors are open. There's only one way to pull in this combine. It should literally just drive it straight forward in here. Otherwise, uh, this auger here will hit the roof. Okay. Here we go. Pull her in here. And she made it. That's a clean deer. That's a nice looking deer. Actually, I'm going to make room just in case we get the uh, case in here too. That way the case and deer can both fit in here. I wonder if like w this weight could actually hold this this heavy a machine. Because when you think about it, this is an old barn. If you go down here, like it is, it is old, and I think it's just like posts holding it up pretty much. I guess I guess there's a good wall. Never mind. But it's as you can tell, it's not like f it's like cement and like posts holding up rather than being like flat on on dirt or something. So like this 7800 back here with these gravity wagons is probably going to stay there 
some of this harvest equipment really has to be moved. This header, I'm probably going to leave on the header trailer. I will get a pickup though, and we'll probably use, probably just use the high boy. I'm going to grab the high boy, and then clean off that header. Uh, the high boy is good for just, it's a good solid farm truck for moving stuff around. It works really well. It's like a good mud truck too. I'm going to pull back here. Connect to it, and then, uh, oh shoot, we're spinning. Okay, maybe not. Dude, this is a pretty heavy, I, I guess when you think about it, this is a pretty heavy header here. So I'm going to try to pull this around, because I, I don't think that hose will reach. Oh shoot, those front tires are off the ground, man. There we go. So, I'm just going to spray her off here. Get her all cleaned up. This header trailer works really good. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put this header. Obviously, it's a nice deer header. You should probably put it indoors. But this one's probably going to go... I don't know if I can fit it in there. I might try fitting it in that building. And then, honestly, that case is probably full by now. We, after we park this, we got to get going. Because the helper's going to stop soon. Man, I wonder if I could fit that back there. That would work really, really good if I could. Okay, let's see how good a backer I am. I say this every episode and I always screw it up. So I'm going to back that into that far stall, which is going to be actually really tough. There we go. And now Turner. See, this is where we're going to run. Oh, we're just, oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, wow. Am I actually doing it? We got her. Oh, okay. There we go. Besides the F-250. The front end has nowhere to go. She just keeps swinging around like a teeter-totter. Come on, back up in there. There we go. We got her. It does. The trailer does stick out a little bit. It's fine, though. Perfect. So I'm going to take the F-250 up to the 9520RT. And then there's the case. Perfect timing. We can jump in the 9RT. And then, oh, yeah. This is actually perfect. And then unload it on the go. There we go. Fire up. Probably should warm the engine up a bit, but that is getting... Yep, it's getting full. Yeah, here's our chance. <laughs> Come on, hired helper. Does it, I'm pretty sure this hired helper has a cowboy hat on, too. Yes, he does. Dope. There we go. This is going smoothly. Let's set cruise control at 6 mile an hour. So we can roll with them. There we go. Nice. Nice setup here. And I wonder if this helper is going to turn around. Yep. He's going to turn around here. I'm assuming he's, he might just stop here. Yeah. So he's going to stop here until it's empty. He's going to turn around. And I don't know if the bin's going to like mess him up over there uh too bad he just didn't keep going forward we'll let him do his thing though yeah look at him in there got a pink shirt oh it's a girl never mind not him it's a girl or i guess yeah it's a girl it's a girl in there okay so she's backing up and then she's going to turn around and get that little section i'm assuming okay this isn't good this is not good <laughs> okay, this this combine's definitely messed up. So I'm gonna turn around and just do this myself. And then we should be good. We are done. We're done with harvest here on I guess they never named the farm. Westby, Wisconsin. We are done with harvest, or you could say squad farms. Speaking of squad farms, wow. I need to uh get that channel back up and going. So the rest is just going to be dumped into uh, the grain cart, which the grain cart's kind of tucked away behind that bin. Probably shouldn't have done that. So what I'll do is pull the grain cart just right under the case. Fire up. So far, I like this 9RT. Definitely, when we, I, I think it's always a really good idea 
when you when you do the tournaments just go for the big equipment it always like i i like some smaller equipment and stuff but it never works out to the point big equipment just always does good in tournaments you're always like buying way too many acres than you need and you end up needing big equipment so like when we get into the tournament you know if there's some rts available i'm just gonna go buy like two nine rts you know and just be done it's i don't know they it's just nice having really big equipment that can pretty much pull anything okay there we go i'm gonna put the case away and then what we'll do is we'll truck down all the corn that's in that semi get a little money because right now you can see for cash we have five thousand two hundred twenty eight dollars and we have a lot of bills to pay so what i'm gonna do is probably unfold this header probably fold up everything I'm gonna unfold this header, drop her down right, right there. Perfect. Back her up, and then connect to her. And then, uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that header there. Connect to this corn header, clean all of this off, and then pull it in the big building with the deer. When you think about it, if that building's old. I probably shouldn't be putting this much weight in that building. These combines weigh a lot. We're connected. There we go. So what I'm going to do is grab the power washer, and just spray this baby down, get those tires all clean, get the front. Actually, the corn header is really clean. Somebody must have sprayed that down ahead of time. She's clean already, it seems like. She's clean. She's ready to rock and roll. So what I'm going to do is pull this in. Man, that's a good looking combine. I'm gonna pull this in uh, the shed over here. The barn, I guess. I probably need to service these combines, but we'll service them like at the beginning of fall. Of next year. There we go. That worked real good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab the semi, and the semi is loaded full with corn. I, I honestly what I should probably do is grab some gravity wagons too and load them full with corn The semi is gonna be doing 60 mile an hour and if I have the full me behind it I'm gonna really have to wait up. So for now, it's just gonna only be the semi I What the That that whenever you jump out of it, it makes it makes uh, like the Jake break sound, huh? So for now the high boys going over here actually probably move that header in where should that header go though on the farm probably here I probably could fit. we'll move the header later I guess but I could probably fit it in one of these I probably fit it along with that deer header that we had that I backed in there I don't know it'd be it'd be a really tight fit but it's possible okay Taking off with the Kenworth. You can tell there's a lot of weight in her. You can just feel it behind her. Okay. Rolling slow through the farm. Wake up Miss Squad from her afternoon nap. And roll out. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever used this horn on the Kenworth, and this thing sounds amazing. Oh, dude, where did this come from, and why didn't anybody tell me to use the horn? This sounds so good. Here, let's do it from Incap. Wow. That is like one of the best sounds horn horns I've ever heard on farm sim. It's not just like the little beep beep, you know, that comes from tractors. It's, that sounds strong, sounds good. Man, I could just hold this down the whole time. Okay, we're done. So I'm gonna take a left hand turn here. Make sure no cars are coming. On Barley Road, we're going on Hay Bale Road now. Oh yeah, nice. 
So on semis, I don't know how the braking works. If they, I wonder if they have like an engine brake or an exhaust brake. I know on my my power stroke I bought it has an exhaust brake. So if you're pulling a trailer down a hill, and you want to maintain speed and not really work your brakes as much, you can use the exhaust brake. I gotta figure out how that works. I'm assuming it takes uh, it takes something out of the exhaust, not exhaust, but the exhaust step in the in the combustion engine and turns it into some type of braking mechanism. I don't know. I wonder how that works. We're unloading corn. I don't. I guess I didn't even check the corn prices before we came. But right now we're at fifteen thousand dollars. We started at fifty-eight hundred dollars. She's unloading, and then what we'll have to do is load, unload the back too. So that's only the front. Twenty-two thousand dollars from thirty thousand bushels. So now I'm gonna pull forward and unload the back. There we go. And we'll probably be at like forty thousand dollars. Perfect. 50,000. Never mind. My math was off. Just checking out the tires here, you know. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to take the Kenworth back. And honestly, I probably should fill it up again. Load her up and then, uh, and then come back and just start selling all my green pretty much and see how much money we have at the end. Since this is maybe going to be one of the last episodes of this farming series. Probably should do that. We're back into the farm. <laughs> I'm going to uh, load this up with, honestly, since we just sold corn, we might want to sell a lot of beans, but we'll probably load this up with corn. Uh, by the time we load this up with corn, we'll be empty. We should be empty with corn on the farm here. Fill her up. I guess, you know what? We'll still have 15,000 liters of corn to load up. So maybe what I'll do is I'll load up a gravity wagon here. So I'll get, uh, my fastest tractor is the 8130. If I do this, I should probably be taking off all duels, but it's it's fine for now because we're not going to be really traveling too much on the roadway, just maybe like one or one or two times. So all duels is fine for now. So 15,000 liters, that means all I need is one gravity wagon. We have a Brent gravity wagon sitting right here. I kind of want to use JNAM just because they got duels, but a, here's a single Brent, and so I'm just going to use a single Brent here to work good. Perfect. Okay, so now what I gotta do is scoot you up. There we go. Perfect. Dude, I remember, I, I don't know why this came back to me, but I remember getting on Farm Sim, like Farm Sim 2011. I got on a multiplayer server and I remember getting on and we were running what equipment were we were on? It was some off brand European stuff. <clears throat> but I remember like doing a wheat harvest. And I kept screwing it up. And I was young, you know, like 10, 11 years old. And these guys were like, what the heck, dude? They're like, you idiot. And they're like kind of cursing on me. I just randomly went on their server. I wasn't trying to troll them at all. But uh, I just didn't know how their operation was fully working. I don't know why I thought of that right now. But it's crazy to think that I was on like an FS 2011. There we go. And then we should be able to fill this all up with corn. Uh, I can just use the follow me mod of the 8130 behind the semi. We should be good. But we're not going to sell. Oh, are we full? We're full. But we're not going to sell it this episode. This is actually going to be the end of the episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the series. Because the series is pretty much done. Then we're going to get on to the farming tournament. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.